The PSA is a prostate-specific antigen, and it measures some hormones that come from the prostate gland. We know if that PSA is high, that it could be an indication that you have prostate cancer, or you could have an enlarged prostate, benign prostatic hypertrophy. And so frequently we measure it uh, three months later, six months later, and if it continues to increase, then we're very concerned about prostate cancer and we probably have to have biopsies, ultrasounds, and maybe surgery. Now, with that in mind, in May of 2012, a task force from the United States government said that routine testing for PSA does not need to be done. Whoa, wait a minute. That's the only way, other than digital rectal exam, finding a prostate cancer, that we can make that diagnosis. So should we just not make that diagnosis? The urology associations have been very upset with those findings. My recommendation to you, see your doctor, talk over about whether a PSA is really needed for you. After age 75, usually, 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 prostate cancers are very slow growing and you may not need that surgery. But who are you to know and how do you know how old that you're going to live to be? And so you have to discuss that with your doctor personally. I think a PSA is a great test and part of your medical evaluation.